Well, that was a tune I wrote years ago called Back Porch Boogie. I've had a lot of fun with that song. It's been really good for me. Um, I actually wrote it on a back porch for my wife one night. I was studying a Chet Atkins tune, and she finally got tired of listening to me after about two, two hours playing the same song. So she asked me to play a boogie, and I didn't know one. So I made that one up, and now I have a beautiful gold record hanging on my wall that says Back Porch Boogie. So I guess I owe that all to her. But I think you're going to have fun playing this song. So let's go ahead and get in tune, and we'll get right into it. Here's my high E string. I'm not sure if that's perfect 440 uh, standard pitch, but it's pretty close. Okay, let's have a look at the way the song begins. It starts off just like the old boogies from, you know, back in the 20s and 30s. I actually flat pick this part when I start the song. Catch that E chord right there. It's an old blues thing. Now here's an interesting little chord. This is a B7. And what I did to get this is I took a standard B chord, made it a seventh, and then I just kept this section of it right here. Because in a B7's first position looks like this, I kept that open B. I think it has a nice ring to it. And then pulling off the A. See. You'll be able to see that better when we do the split screen here in a few minutes. Okay, now, one other thing I should point out, all that's pretty basic down there. Everybody's done the... That's basically what I'm operating off of. When you get into the swing part, what I had in mind here was kind of the big band sound, like Benny Goodman and all them. And here's my band as I'm trying to come up here and do the, the umpas. Okay, now that's your E right there. Played on the fourth and uh, third and fourth strings at the sixth fret. And then if you come back to here, you have the, the A. All right, let's put it together. There's that boogie. adding the fingers on the top. Now, if we, if we pay attention a little bit here to my right hand, you'll see that all I'm doing is playing all the fingers together here and then taking the thumb to play the boogie. There's the boogie. And here's the band. Okay, now, moving to the A, doing the same thing. So there. Okay, now coming down here, it's a clever little B7 move. Excuse me. One more time. Okay, so now that you have a handle on your chords, basically you're doing the E here, the A, and then working out of this B7 shape with the bass line. You've got pretty much the first section down to the song. All right, this brings us to the fun part. When I played this for the, the television or the news reporters that came to see me after I had won the uh, Guitar Player Magazine contest with this song, one of them said that my fingers looked like a granddaddy long leg going across the porch. And so this was then dubbed the spider walk. So let me show you just a little piece of it and you'll see why. So you can see it does have that kind of a little bit of a spider walk look to it. <clears throat> Generally I play it much faster than that. The tempo I usually play it as more like, um, like this. so on and so forth. All right, and uh, what you got to remember here is that although you're doing the bass, 
You've got to make the lead really sound like the band. You've got to kind of give it that swingy. Okay. All right, now I believe that the rest of the song is pretty much all falls into these uh, chord shapes. Uh, there's one run that I would like to uh, spend a little time on. Uh, I had a little trouble with it when I played the song myself. It goes like this. Okay, this is a kind of a hard run to hit here because first you're starting off with the, the low three strings of the guitar. And then you have to come up here and catch that sixth fret. Get the B and the E, and then walk it up and pull it right back off again. As you see. Okay. Now, the less long and short of it, uh, I think what we'll do now is go to the split screen so you can see it in slow motion, and I'll try to play it as accurately as I possibly can. <laughs> 